bow to the lady of the night, of the hour, of the moment, Madam Jackie Matubia. First of all, how does it feel to just see that? How do you feel? Um, <laughs> I feel blessed in my heart. I was telling you, okay, this is my event. I feel like I'm coming to people with someone else's event. Mm -hmm. And thinking that this show, there goes my car, hurry up, the car I wanted to buy. <laughs> There goes everything, but it's worth it. It's not about the money, but it's the passion. And I had to do it. I mean, guys, I'm a coach. I used to push me, and I had to do it. I was even telling the guys when it's these three episodes, they have to go. Mm. I do not, I was telling Jackie, I do not have the money, but they have to go. Mm. Because it's not, it's not their industry, it's ours. And the person who said that, I'm a left group. Since when you talk about group, to do, to ignore, this is a I love to do it when we have, there has to be that one person that stays and says, you know what, I'm the sacrificial lamp. Mm. I will go with it, with it. And yeah, here we are. Yeah. Kenya's first <laughs> With the boys. Ah, okay, with the boys. Therapy. Therapy. Okay, yeah. therapy. Hiya, Sawa, Madam Joki. What is your toxic trait? <laughs> I think I'm a bit manipulative. Hey, who you need yoga? Yoga, yoga, bangoni. Ayaya. Eh, hey, Kagol Kochodongo. I'm trying to think. Hey. Coach is too sweet. That's your toxic trait. That's what you think. Ah. Hey. She's being toxic. She's being toxic. Um, being too much in control. I'm a control freak. Mm. That's why I'm hey. a director. Hey, hey. I love it. I love it. Hey. Yoka. Yoka. What is your toxic treats? Apart from ku kufanya maneno ambayo umefanya huko. Mimi tu kuruka story. Eh? Vile wewe uruka madem. Ah. Aya yako ni kuruka story, Jackie. What is your toxic treats? Eh? Sarenta. Yeah, you are walking red flag. In the in the costume itself. <laughs> Short to anger. Short to anger. Aha, uh -huh. haya. Very, very good to know. Now, sijui ni anze na, wacha tuanze na coach. You've been directing a lot of telenovelas in the country from, you know, Selena to Kina to Salem. Yes, absolutely. By the way, let me tell you guys, for those who don't know, Carol uh, is called coach in the industry for a reason. Because she has trained literally the best actors you know in this country. And we have to give you your flowers. So coach, I'd love to know what was the difference between directing the telenovelas, those ones that uh, you know are on Showmance and Maisha Magic and this one. What was the main difference? Wow. Oh man. <laughs> and then a work environment that is friendly. Wow. A producer that cares about their cast. And A team of uh, actors and crew that gel so well together and we didn't even know each other we were meeting most of us for the first time on that set 
I think the only person I knew uh, previously was Ruta Bingwa, the rest and Jackie. Everybody I was meeting for the first time, but we gelled so quickly and we worked so well, it never felt like work. It felt like we were just out having fun. And then the icing on the cake is when your producer takes you to Mombasa for a working holiday and then you have one day off which is just downtime. There are no I've never met a producer who has done that for their cast and crew. Jamani, sasa walie na Mombasa wa eh. Unajua producer wengine akikupeleka Mombasa, una land 3 uko uko kazi 4. Na siku unamaliza, unarudi nyumbani. Aya basi. Hiyo ingine nitauliza uh, Mr. Kimani. Hello Mr. Kimani. Sasa watu wengi sana kwa hii industry. Wanasemanga, you know, uh, especially tuseme ma actors ama nani, unajua mimi nataka kuingia into producing. Nataka to create kitu poa. Sawa? Na crew imefika point wa nasema mimi nimesikia hii story na nimeiona na najua mnaendanga kukula pesa alafu mnatuacha. So why did you accept this project? Um I think first of all is because it's a project from a friend. Jackie has been my friend for I think almost a decade now. <laughs> and um we met when I was studying in the industry and her and Kate mentored me so much. So me being part of this project and I think I related so much to the project. I wanted to be part of it and I loved being part of it. And it opened, you know, my eyes in how different producers, you know, if anyone wants to be a producer and how you should be treating your cast and crew. And that was just the most amazing part of it. Having to work with a team that is friends first mm. and enjoys doing what we do. Actually, guys, we enjoy doing what we do. Yeah. What you guys have seen here, what you guys have seen here is a product of friendship, yeah. trust, yeah. and believing in each other. Yeah. That is what is here. And we love it and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Give it up for Kimani. Sasa, nyoka mwenyewe. Nyoka mwenyewe. Siju kama ini swali yangu ama naulizia wengine. Lakini ni ulize. Uko na mtu? Na kama uko na mtu, ni mtoxic. Kila mtu ni mtoxic. Kila mtu ni mtoxic. Kila mtu ni mtoxic. Aya, sawa. Uko na mtu? E mtu uko na mtu. Ah. Na pia mungu. Ah. Ane za e e e. Ane za bite. Ni mnoma. Ni mnoma. Huyo Ah. Now, I found it very interesting that by the way, um say see my looks too. Pia kili iko. Mzee amefanya finance by the way. Amefanya finance. And so I know there's a lot of artists in the house and I'd love to ask what do you think um, what helps you when you have something on the side because I know a lot of us artists we are like me I want to stick to this you know this is what I want to do but the reality on the ground is there are not enough jobs and that's the reason I know Jackie for one you put up this and how many people have you employed in the first place you know I mean, yeah, give it up for Jackie. He's the employment man. This is a whole industry. She has employed. But my question to you is, does it help you to have a crutch? But also, does it take away from your artistry? Because that means the time that you are in office, you are not practicing your art. So, uh, uh, please, wait into that. Labda yon diyo sasa inafanya, unakuja, unakaa vizuri. Because sasa wasani sasa, Mtu ameshinda set, ameshinda set, alafu natoka hapo na tuke. Uh, sasa unajua mm -hmm. tunaishi Kenya. Mm -hmm. You know? And when you live in a country, you adapt to whatever is happening in the country. Yes. There is what you want and there is what you need. All right? Yes, I want to be a professional actor. I want to leave this craft. But can this craft live in me currently with a financial situation? Yeah. Right? 
Ebu Nudia hiyo kwanza ndio watu wa tweet. Tweet hiyo that is a very strong statement. The man can be toxic but he's wise. Repeat please. So I want to live in this craft. Mm. But can this craft live in me mm. with the current economic conditions, yeah. right? Mm. And uh, I think most of the cast are witnesses. I used to work in the middle of shooting. Mm. You know, I'd take a break. Mm. Sometimes I'd get a phone call and I'd go out of character. And mm. I think the AD noticed once and it was like, so it's it's a tough balance. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do something passionately, mm -hmm. it's not about the money. Mm. It's not about the pain. Mm. So if you have a cushion somewhere mm. where you know your money comes from, mm. you can call me in the middle of the night mm. and I play any role you want. Mm. Because I don't have worries of if my are my people going to eat, mm. are my people going to sleep. Mm. So I think I would advise all artists mm. to make sure you use whatever you get, mm. start a side hustle. Mm. So that as much as you're putting into your craft, your life moves on. Mm. So that your life doesn't stop. Mm. And maybe one day, the craft will live in us. But until that time, until that time, you have to live like a normal Kenyan. Side hustle in Lazima. Send you. Hey! I had you. I had you. Yo, yo. Hey! Like it, somebody say hallelujah. 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 Kijana be gonna kill you. Oh, thank you for that. Madam Joki, producer. Sasa, I think this is the hardest job in a production. Watu wana kwangele wana zema, oh, akuna food, oh, akuna nini, akuna nini. I think, um, you know, for I know you guys had set aside a certain amount of money. Ilitosha. Because first of all, if you can, sorry, sasa viu bayangu pia ni kuongea mingi. I can imagine the number of cast and crew. The fact that you guys even thought to bring in sponsors that will fly people and all of these logistics being run. And I know you didn't have like a big production crew. So, pesa ilitosha na kama haikutosha, mulitoa wapi na is it possible for the upcoming producers? How do they go about this? Yo! Anyway, God has been faithful. First of all, the money we set aside, I but then God provided. But then everything that we did came from Jackie's pocket. Come on! Her But we're so grateful. To my Kappa, as in, I was even telling Ida, like, my goodness, these guys are here. Guys are here to watch, you know, what we, you know, produce. Everything and everyone you're seeing here. There are people who believed in this dream. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these are people who believed. <laughs> Yes, Ante, continue. You know, these are guys who believe in Jackie's dream, and we believe they're gonna make more and more and more and more shows for you guys to support. Thank you so much for coming. Asante sana. And now, to the lady of the night, of the hour, of the moment, Madam Jackie Matubia. of all, how does it feel to just see that? How do you feel? Um, <laughs> I feel blessed in my heart. I was telling Joki, this is my event. I feel like I'm coming to people with someone else's event. Mm -hmm. And thinking that this show, there goes my Kaharia, the car I wanted to buy. <laughs> There goes everything, but it's worth it. It's not about the money, but it's the passion. Mm. And I had to do it. Yeah, I mean, guys, oh my God, Charlie used to push me and I had to do it. Mm. I was even telling the guys when it's these three episodes, they have to 
go. Mm. I do. Not, I was telling Jackie, I do not have the money, but they have to go mm. because it's not. It's not their industry. It's ours. Yes. And yes. the person who said that, I'm a left group. Since we need to go to a group to tell you. To tell you, no, I say, my name is left street when they live. We have. There has to be that one person that stays and say, you know what? I'm the sacrificial lamp. Mm. I will go with it, with it, and yeah, here we are. Yeah. Kenya's first telenovela. Come on! And if you can just take us through very briefly the journey from, I'd, I'd love to know what inspired this series in the first place, and if you can remember that it, was it an exact moment? Was it a series of events that pushed you to do this? What was that? Um, it was an exact moment of. We are coming to it was our last scene with Charlie in the previous series that we were in and it was um, a cell scene so he had come to visit his love of his life and so ile kumekuwa na joto sana kwa hiyo room so crew ametoka tunangoja ndege you know the the mini forecast um and so in ile ya who it's come to an end so what's next and he was like you know I didn't want to ask you, but when we started this show, there's a Nini used to come with puffy eyes, Nini, you know? And so I started giving out my story. At least someone somewhere was interested to hear my story and not write it tomorrow and not it be a headline tomorrow. And I just gave him one scenario. And he looked at me and he's so it's it's a cross and I look at him. Baby girl! <laughs> Why is this not a movie? <laughs> like a movie like yo you know you know how when he gets excited yeah. no 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 let me, let, me, let me give it to you let me give it to you <laughs> yeah so he, he got excited and he's like um then you have a youtube channel right i'm like yeah he's like then go sit down and tell i'm like i cannot do that mm -hmm. I, I no one cares these people will watch it will be headlines for hours and that's it how um, how 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 has my story helped another lady out there how has it changed anyone how's your story helped someone and then he's like yo i have an idea <laughs> yo this can be a but the guys the first time i had a web series from charlie so they went to you and like what's a web series i remember when she called me jack i was thinking we can do what's a web series i'm like i have this idea is that a web series <laughs> I didn't know what our web series is, and and so he's like, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take your story, this one story, my story. Like we're going to put up every what 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 social media, you know, the couples on, on on socials. We're going to put all these stories together and put a movie. And then he's like, when it's a movie, then how? Get it, guys. He broke down the entire show in that sitting. So it's like so it's like glasses. You put them like this. Together, just when you think you've got him, and you put another glass, and then you put another glass, and then and it comes, shwa, you know, and he's like, yeah. So yeah, I'll do that again. Stories are job assets. So like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, that's a woo, amazing. And you go, Sato in Africa. He calls me. Uh, so I was thinking, can we do a Zoom meeting? I'm like, Zoom meeting. Eh, hey, so so we can storyline everything, and then I can start writing. And I was like, yeah, I have a friend of mine who's an amazing producer. That's when I looked in uh, Jockey and I looked in a friend of ours called Carol. And yeah. we, got, <laughs> we, got, we got into the Zoom meeting. And there he was with his wall full of stickers. <laughs> so he was like, so guys, you're saying episode one, episode one, episode one, episode two, episode two. And guys, he wrote from episode one to yeah. episode 10. He gave each and every episode a uh, title, yeah. and we were there brainstorming. The guy from, the Nana from, but every time we were brainstorming, toxic used to, to this, oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, toxic. Yeah, then we discuss, we discuss, and that's just like, guys, I think it should just be called toxic. But anyway, we can find another name, but for now, toxic. And he wrote toxic on a pink, I'll never forget on a pink. Um, sticker and, and then like stops and that's we were episode seven it was blank episode eight it was blank episode nine like 
Then he was like, no, let me first work with the first three, and then I'll get back to you guys. And then in the middle of the week, he's requesting for a, in the, it was around seven, he's requesting for, for a Zoom meeting. <laughs> Some of us, our mothers, others we were working, and then he's like, I'm just, and then he sends us a screenshot in the group, and he's like, guys, I'm waiting for you guys to join. And so that's when it, it hit me, I, yeah, and I, told, I called Jinjo Ken, and I'm like, Charlie's is serious? Ah, yeah. Iki to Twifan, yeah? Twifan. So me in my head that Jan be asking me YouTube. I 15, 16 minutes. I it can't cost me that much. You know, and um on the on the third of Feb, he called me. He's like, um, I'm coming for the party. I'm like, it's too early, I'm not even showered, I'm from setting up uh, the venue. He's like, no, 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 I want us to come so we discuss before we get drunk. I'm like, okay, cool. So he, on the 1st of Feb, he sent the first episode. Then he sent the second on the second. And then on the third, I told him, Joki, this guy is serious. By the time he's on the 10th, we're going to 10 episodes. So it's a tough time say, I love you. To where the queen find and was supposed to party off, because I come to a chop chop. And that's when we, so that's when we met. And when we met, um, I was just from being frustrated. Someone had just promised me to give me equipment, it was not for free. Um, but he was like, oh, no, I'm not giving you because oh, you're trying to can't change. You know, you, you know, end up I'm like, oh, I'm trying to change the industry, I'm trying to change the narrative. So I'm like, uh uh, no. So I'm, I'm stressed. I am telling you, I'm stressed. I don't think we're going to do this. So he's like, you know what? Shiro has people. Like, don't stress. On Monday, on Monday, we're going to meet people. Shiro is going to hook up to people. We don't we don't want to be got, like, we've got no one, nothing is stopping us. If it's a house you want, you just give me a shoot my house. Guys, I have a sister. You know, he gave, he gave me a story like they, nothing was. Like, nothing. Like, nothing. Like, and yeah, I'm glad I had that conversation with him. And I know where he is. Charlie, we did it! <laughs> 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 <laughs>